One of the great plants that many people forget about these days is the sweet pea. And as of course we all know, St. Patrick's Day is when most people sow them. That's when you sow your seeds. And that's around March 17. But you can sow them right through. And this time of the year through August is still a great time to sow sweet peas. These are a dwarf one called Bijou. And they do do very well in pots and it's a lot of fun to do it. So what we're going to do is pot some sweet peas up in here, make a little totem for them, and in time it will look very impressive. So you pick your pot that you like. In my case I'm going to put some mesh at the bottom and then fill it up with potting mix. Never soil by the way and never anything else in the bottom. The um, mesh is only to stop it making a mess. It's not horticulturally important. Another good tip when you're using a good quality modern potting mix, which you should by the way, uh, is fill the pot a little bit fuller than you would think, not above the level of the rim, perhaps a gentle push down, you don't want to pack it too tightly, but it does drop with time so it's important to keep it fairly full when you first do it. In a pot like this where they're going to get good light all the way around, you can put the plants in a little bit closer than recommended. Normally they say about 20 centimetres apart, these are about 15 centimetres apart. So put them all in around, space them fairly evenly, then put a stake basically next to or between each couple of plants. Once you've got your stakes in, tie them off at the top with some string. If you're worried about it falling off, a little bit of PVA glue will fix that. Then you would tie each one of your plants to the base of its stake with a plant tie. The plant tie is a useful thing in case you need to either make it a little bit larger later on as the plants grow, or indeed to remove it altogether. But there you are, the plants are now in. They will grow to the top of this, this particular variety around about the 60 centimetres tall, so you wouldn't want this much taller than about 60 centimetres. And one last significant tip, peas don't really like to be overwatered. They can get fungus diseases, both of the foliage and also of the roots. So water them in, but don't overwater the plants, and soon, these will grow all the way up here and you'll have all those wonderful colours, purples, pinks, whites, the whole lot. And it's really cheery. This is the perfect thing to have outside the back or front door or something like that. All your visitors will say, oh, sweet peas, I remember my grandma used to grow them. Well, she did, and for very good reasons. These are fabulous plants.